we are on the countdown. It is, oh, I think a minute before midnight. And uh, this is going to be 31 days of praise with Dr. Sabrina, the success broker. I um, want to start by uh, welcoming you on tonight with me as we uh, talk about praise, as we talk about why 31 days of praise, as we talk about how good God is to us, even with all the massive things that are going on in the land right now. I mean, the ISIS crisis, the shooting that occurred in California today, and we want to just stop and give a prayer to those families that are, are suffering this tra tragic loss um, today. But in the midst of all of that, beloved, in the midst of all of that, I want to talk about praise. I want to end the year in praise. I want to end the year on a good note. I want to end the year on a high note. And so the first thing I want to do is I want to welcome you here. I want to thank you for joining me tonight and uh, spending time with me as we dive into this subject of praise. And so the first thing is I wanted to talk about praise for a particular reason. I was really thinking about Thanksgiving and just going through Thanksgiving and thinking about all the things that I have to be thankful for and and just that whole time of gratitude and thankfulness. And then I started thinking about the end of the year and that at the end of the year, usually what we do is we spend a whole bunch of time thinking about uh, what hasn't happened, what could have happened, what should have happened, um, you know, the if I could have, would have, should have, could have stuff. And I don't want to end my year thinking about all that I couldn't do, or all that I did not do. I want to end the year strong, giving praise. I want to end the year strong, thinking about giving honor, giving adoration to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who has done so much for me, and I'm sure you too. So as we meet here every night at midnight, that uh, midnight hour, because everyone's not in the bed. I know I'm up late every night. And so I thought midnight would be a good time to come together and uh, spend time talking about praise. And so what we're going to do is every night we're going to come together. I'm going to give you a new word. And that word is going to be our word that we're going to focus on um, that day as we go into the next day about praise and different ways of praising. So tonight I just wanted to dive into why I even thought about praise as a topic. And so I was thinking about the scripture that says God inhabits the praises of Israel. And another word for Israel is uh, his people. And so as his people, when we praise, he moves in. Oh my goodness, that is something to be excited about. Because when we think about the word inhabitation, and we think about the word inhabits, inhabits means to dwell, to live in, to reside, to occupy. You know, when God moves in, with us on our situation, in our businesses, in our relationships, in our friendships, in our love relationships with our children. When God moves in, when he moves in, oh my goodness, something great happens. It allows us to have a continuous opportunity to praise him because he's right there. He's right there sitting with us. He can breathe on our situation. He can talk to us. He can suck with us. He can help us through those difficult and hard times. So I want you to think, beloved, about how God has moved in with you, how he has moved in on you. And as you begin to think about those things, I want you to give him honor. I want you to give him praise. And so as we talk about praise, we're going to be talking about the different ways of praising. Um, one of the ways of praising, of course, is in song. It's singing songs and giving praise through songs. We can also praise him by lifting up those hands. You know that song? One of my favorite rap songs is uh, All I Do Is Win win, 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 no matter what. And every time I step up in the building, everybody's hands go up. Mm. 
and they stay there. So when we think about Christ, when we think about the Holy Spirit, when we think about our Father God, our hands should be going up in praise. We should be singing those songs onto him in praise. And then we can also give praise through our words, the things that we say. So every day we're going to have a new word. And then through our dance, get our dance on, get our instruments going, get our praise on, get that beat going and get your praise on that way. And then also, lastly, it'll be through the fellowship with other believers, fellowship with other people. So I want you to take Tell other people about this midnight time together, giving praise, giving honor, 31 days of it. Every day a new word, every day a new celebration. So today's word is adoration. Adoration. Oh, oh, adoring our God. I so adore him. I love him. Just the thought of all the wonderful things that he has done. It makes me uh, almost feel like giddy that I have a God that uh, sits high and looks low and protects and directs and all those things that he does. And so I adore him for that. And so as I close this scope tonight, because we're not going to be here long. We don't have to be here long every day to get this in. But as I close tonight, I just want to close in a little song. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. For he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy. For he alone is worthy, Christ the Lord. Oh, beloved, this is an opportunity for you to adore him, to just shower him with adoration, shower him with praise. 31 days of praise. 31 days of lifting your hands, 31 days of giving words of adoration and praise, 31 days of getting your dance and praise on through instruments, through music, 31 days of fellowshipping here, midnight, every night. I am going to be on time. I am actually getting excited. I am on fire for this. We are going to close out this year giving praise because I know that when we praise, he inhabits the praises of his people. So we are going to invite him to move in at the end of this year. Move in. And just think about it. As he's moved in, as he's living with us, and he's supping with us, and he's dwelling with us, as we crush, cross that threshold into a new year, he'll be right there with us. He'll be holding our hands. You know, you think about a tenant. You think about someone moving in with you. You think about somebody uh, moving in with you. They get comfortable. They spread out. They uh, put their stuff in the drawers. They put the things they like in your refrigerator. I want you to get that in your mind that God himself, the Holy Spirit himself is moving in on you. And that's what we give him praise for, beloved. I thank you. I shout out to all my friends. I thank you for the hearts. I see you. I see you. I love you too. And if you have things that you want to praise for specifically, uh, Give me a holla. Shout out to me. Let me know what you're thinking about 31 days of praise. I want to hear your testimony. I want to hear what God is going to speak to your spirit. He's going to be stirring things up in the land. I know it. I feel it, beloved. And I want to hear from you. We are going to be here together. I'm here for you, and I know that you're here for me. We're going to do it. So you tell your friends, your family, your people that you work with to come on at midnight. We're not going to be here long. I try not to stay more than 10 minutes because we can get it in, talk about what we need to talk about, give a word, have our fellowship time together, get our praise on, and then check out and go on with our night. But I love you. I can't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow will be a new day. I already know what it is. I'm excited. But I wanted you to know why 31 days of praise. We want to close out this year praising, lifting his name on high, getting excited about what he's going to do and continuously do in the new year. Blessed peace to you.
adoration and praise to our Father. God bless you.